Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil. Uh, going back to um, the first game that I actually did, being the original Resident Evil, but uh, we've gone off to a okay start, I I believe. Uh, not really convinced it's an okay start, if I'm honest. Um, I'm down to caution, orange, no red caution, or orange caution. Um, I got any? Some, no, I haven't got any survival items. Um, so things aren't right for us right now. I don't really want to make use a first aid spray if I can help it. There's a zombie right outside this room, but I think I might have to use this first aid spray. We'll take it with us anyway, and we'll just bolt as soon as we get outside this room. There he is. Wasn't even paying us attention. Oh, great. Ah, my ear. My eye, rather. Not my ear. My eye, my ear doesn't get sleep in it. My eye can get sleep in it. Missed. Run! So I'm doing this as my three year anniversary special. Um, it's a, bit, a little bit late um, because I wasn't planning on actually doing this LP. Uh, so for now it will just be Chris's run. Um, I don't really have a need at the minute to do anything else. Take this. There's a whistle there. No, I don't want to take it yet. We'll come back for it. Um, I think there is actually. Let's go and do the map thing first because the map's on the other side of that corridor. Yeah, it's been really hard to actually think what actual games I'm going to do. Um, oh, hello.
least that's done. That frees up two more spaces in my inventory. And so we've uh, we haven't we've only got six spaces, so we need to use our space um, carefully. I'll take these herbs. take these other herbs as well and then we'll go and drop this uh, first aid spray and um, just take the red herb with us I'm gonna go around and burn as many um, corpses as I can because it takes them a little while to actually come back to life but it's worth gonna go and do it as I didn't walk past that, that guy in the mirror corridor there's no harm in me actually getting caught by him this guy there's every chance I won't get caught by him. Can I get past him? Missed. We need to go and get rid of this sword key. Um. Right, we'll go upstairs and deal with this zombie that I've downed. In fact, I might as well just down the down this one here as well. Yes, the fire can hurt you. Come on, little man. Up you come. Come on, come and get me. This way. Come on, come on. Right, that's those two dealt with. They won't come back now. We'll go back and refill our, our canister. Or canteen, I should say, not canister. Sorry for my cursor, it's just it's either that or have it on the X up top and me accidentally clicking my mouse and closing my game. So you have to use this stuff sparingly. If you use it too much, or overuse it, or just go haywire with it and down every single zombie, then burn every single zombie, you're gonna end up losing. Uh, you know, all you're gonna have to run from every all over the mansion just to refill your canister. And I think they're all on the they're all on the first floor. So there's only three places that I can think of at the minute that actually have kerosene in the mansion. No, four places. Sorry. That's this save room here. The one on the opposite side is not in the save room, it's in the room where the broken shotgun is located. And then there's one in the plant room, I believe. Is there? I remember one being in there for some reason. 
No, there's only there is three. No, and there's also one. There's also one on the uh, off the ale shaped corridor. There's one on the outside where the dogs are, as well. I need the uh, dog whistle. So I don't really know if I can actually edit this this um, LP. I think I might just leave it raw and not do any editing on it, um, because then you won't miss. There's no, you know, if I edit bits out where I have to backtrack, then it might be a little bit, you know, not very, you know, not people may not want to see that. They won't want to see all the encounters. I might have an encounter where I edit and I don't put it in. A crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this. Fi I, I, well, I had this idea. I figured if I could how somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like a vicious canine that lives here, no one will be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt always ha is always always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. He ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon the only person that can get near that down dog without raising suit. Uh, this is where you come in. That the thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near the, the, that damn dog without a risking serious and mourning. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden in, is concealed inside. You're the only person that I, I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain items that you... Remember that, that certain item you always wanted to get hold of. Or in exchange for your service, I just might be able to get it for you. This could be... This could work out well for both of us, John Tolman. So I've I've wanted to do recording in the last couple of days, but I've had um, I haven't been particularly feeling happy in the last couple of days. Um, many of you guys know about sort of like a little bit about my, my myself. Um, you know, I'm not ashamed to hide the fact that I, I'm mental health and stuff like that. Mental health affects a lot of people, a lot more than people think, and um, it's important that people are aware of this because the more people are aware of, aware by it easier. Now I'm not going to worry about getting that map at this point. But I need to get the small key that's in the bathroom that's up this corridor. Although I'm not going to come back through this corridor. I can't fucking it up. I can't pick up the dog the um thing. Shit.
Oh fuck. What the hell? It wouldn't shoot! No! Fuck off! Fuck you, bitch. No, I don't want. I don't want to do that. I will never come back in here again. Oh, what an idiot! Okay. Sorry guys, I've just um I've got um Merch messaging me. Um he's just got some information that hopefully can um get me started on growing my channel even more than it's already grown. My channel is growing, there's no question about that. Um yeah, I've reached hundred and fifty subscribers and that for me is a milestone. So we need to go in here, because we need to go and... Okay, if we back ourselves against this... Well, I got a headshot on the f on the first dog. Whoa. 
Now that did not take as long as I thought it would. Alright, so we need to go and dump off the... No, we don't need to do that now, because we've got rid of the dog whistle. Guy in this she a guy there as well. Whoa He was already fucking awake. He was already awake. So this is a trap. You don't want to come up here earlier because if you do and you take this, may whoever ta takes this emblem find peace in death. And it's the man it's the uh, armor key. And what will happen? That will go down like that. The walls will go in like that. You'll have no escape. Now I've not seen anyone fall for this trap before. So you put the indentation key back in there. On the shield. Death is a true essence of bliss. on the shield. Death is everything. So now we've got the armor key, we can pretty much go and deal with most of the armor doors that are laid around the mansion. We don't need to come back in this corridor anymore. Apart from when we go, I'll come later, but we'll have better weapons later. I'm not going to engage with anything right now. Um, I don't know why I've come this way, but I don't think I have a choice. That zombie's gone, look, you can see that. Just get back to the
Hang on, let's open up these two doors first. Right, we'll examine this quickly. Armor key. So we've got the armor and the sword key still. So we, I, I'm going to go around. What, what I'm going to do is sort of start, start the next video is go around and unlock all the armor doors. Right, that, that um note was from Wesker saying how he's left bullets for me in this room. So he's left us two lots of uh 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 pistol ammo and two first aid sprays. So we'll grab the ink ribbon. There's a small key in this fucking room, I didn't know that. Oh alright. Alright guys, um, I'm going to call this a video, we're going to save the game. So we've made some steady progress, we're getting further along in our quest in this um, mansion, uh, into the different story that is Resident Evil Remake. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.